So Tyr and, and a few hundred of his guys have fled back to Haven. Couldn't get to the chopper in time. So a safe bet, as soon as they land, they'll start coming up with their own plans. So the sooner we come up with an idea on how we're going to take out all the outposts and control points, we got to move on it as soon as possible. Yeah, I agree. But, um, I'm sorry, General. It's been a long day, and I'm still catching up from sleep from the other time. How about we continue this in the morning? That's no problem. See you in the morning. Hey, Violet. What are you doing here? Thought you were asleep. I woke up to all the shooting, so it looks like the division fucked us again. Only just Terry and his guys. We actually got support from General Morshaw, so the White House is ours. Tyrion has retreated back to Haven, so now we gotta work out what we're gonna do. <laughs> Once they're done, hopefully that's it. No more fighting. If I had a shot every time you said this battle will be our last battle, I would need a new fucking liver. <laughs> yeah, um, I know. But this one really does feel like it. Because we were, we were good for years. But then Joffrey came and he caused all the problem. Tyrion is the last of that. Once he's done, we're good. I guess I believe it when I see it. But also, I made you a promise. Meet me near the location where we first met. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. I'll see you there. There she is. Okay. Alright, Violet. I'm here. So what's this all about? Why are we here? Just over there was where I found you, and were fighting the cultist. I was terrified to come back to the division, but my kids' lives was at stake. So I took the risk saving you and William and turned out to be one of the best choices I've ever made. Because I did that my children lived. I knew you were just a good person. You defended me, you care for me, you give me the chance to fight and redeem myself. And I knew I wanted you to come back with me to my home. And you did and you helped me raise my boys to become good men. Yes, it was hard for me to hear the kids calling you dad. But it was the truth, you're their dad. Even when I treated you like shit, you were always on my side no matter what. And it really hurt me betraying you, even though it was all pretend. And then yet again you didn't hate me. Why did you never get mad at me? As it was clear from the moment I met you, your kids are your life and you do anything for them. And they followed me and to missions. They wanted to help. They could have died. And that would have been on me. So back then I thought you'd do what you always said you would do. To your kids. Even that means sacrificing me. So I didn't hate you. And of course, when I found out you were just pretending, but still, I felt like what you was the right decision. And I hope that doesn't change. If I'm in the way of the survival, you let me go. They're your boys, your family. They are first priority. I will give my life for them. Give my life. For you. Yes, I was terrified of you back at the beginning. Because of what I did to Bellamy. But that night when you forgave me, you didn't blame me. Right then, I could not stop how I was going to feel about you. But I didn't want to ruin anything. I just hid it away for a long time. But now recently, it's just getting too goddamn hard. And I am sick and tired of it. Violet. Violet. I love you. More than anything. But that's just me. And just... Whatever decision. I'm good. We will always be good. But right now, it's time. I need to know. 
Do you love me? How can I not fucking love you?